Hi everyone, my name is Shudite Weiler from Clarkson University. Today I'm going to talk about my research, High Frequency Performance Monitoring with Architectural Event Measurement. Nowadays, in modern computing systems, there are significant demand to improve the performance of the software, whether it's in terms of speed or energy efficiency, to maximize the workload. Obtaining detailed software execution information via hardware performance counter is a powerful analysis technique. The performance counter provides an effective method to monitor the program behavior, which can be used in various applications such as the optimization, the malware detection, the scheduling technique, or even the dynamic power estimation. There are a lot of open source tools that have been developed to provide a high-level API to control and collect the performance counter data. The tools such as Perf Linux, Puppy, and Limit. However, there are some drawbacks for each available tool, such as the low time granularity, the high performance overhead. Some tools require the source code modification. Some tools require the user to patch the kernel. To address this limitation, we introduced Caleb, a performance counter providing tool that utilizes the kernel space collection system. By moving the collection mechanism to the kernel, it allows us to reduce the performance overhead from the system call. It also allows us to use the high resolution timer on the kernel level, which can provide a finer timer granularity than the timer on the user level. The figure show architecture of KLAB. The two main components of KLAB are the controller process and the kernel module. The controller process resides in the user space is used to control the kernel module in the kernel space by passing parameters from the user to the kernel module to set up, start, and stop collecting the data. The kernel module is used to access the PMU to set up and collect the performance counter data, while also tracking the process being monitored using the scheduler in the kernel. PMU is a special hardware register that resides in the processor, which is used to monitor the hardware event. The monitor process is a process that is being monitored by our kernel module. Here show the five phases of the Caleb workflow. The first phase is the initialization phase, where the user uses the controller process to set up the kernel module parameter, such as target program, the hardware event, or the granularity of the timer to start monitoring. The second phase is when the module has been initialized. When the module detects that the monitor process gets scheduled in and actually running from the scheduler, the module will then access the PMU to enable the data collection, while also start the timer to periodically collect the performance counter data and store them into the assigned buffer in the kernel memories. During this time, the controller process will also periodically extract the data from the kernel module to free up the kernel memory. In the third phase is when the module detects that the process got scheduled out. The module will cancel the timer and disable the PMU to stop collecting the data. In the fourth phase is when the monitor process exits or the user issue the command to stop monitoring. The controller process will send a signal to deinitialize the module. And then the controller process will extract the last batch of data from the module and free up the memories. The data is then locked to file by the controller process in the last phase. For the process interaction, the figure show the data collection period of Caleb in relation with the monitor process. After the module is set up, 
the model will only collect the performance counter data when the process is actively being executed to avoid the noise inference from the other processes. And after the process is being terminated, the module will be deinitialized and lock all the performance counter data to the file. We perform our case study on two test machines. For the first machine, we use Intel Core i7-920 processor with the uh, Nehalem microarchitecture family. And for another machine, we use the machine from Amazon Web Service. Intel Xeon Platinum H259CL processor with a Cascade-like microarchitecture family. We provide three case study to demonstrate the use case and the effectiveness of our KLEC, and also to address some of the limitations from the current available tools. For the case study one, we use KLEC to collect the performance counter samples for LINPACK benchmark. LINPACK is a benchmark used to evaluate the machine performance by solving a dense system of linear equation and calculating the score flops or floating point operation per second. We set up KLEP to monitor the performance counter data for arithmetic multiplication, load and store hardware event with the 10 millisecond timer intervals. From the graph, we can clearly see the phase behavior of the LINPACK. We can see the sharp increase in load and store event during the benchmark parameter setup. And for the major part of the program, which is the linear equation solving period, in which we can see the sharp increase in arithmetic multiplication and load events. We then can see the clear transition from loading data and computation following by the storing phase afterward. The pattern is then repeat for the number of trial run for the benchmark, which is match the characteristic of the program. We also compare the flops number among other profiling tools to compare the performance loss when using the monitoring system of the tools. We achieve a very small performance loss of 0.64% when compared to the two like perf which have the performance loss of 7.08%. This case study also showed that KLEP can generate the time series data sample with a non-intrusiveness where no source code is available as LIMPAC only provides the binary for the benchmark. In this case study, we use KLEP to collect the performance counter data from the running Docker container. We collect the last level cache miss and the instruction retired event and use it to calculate the MPKI or misses per kilo instruction of the workload. We then use the MPKI to characterize the workload into computational intensive program where MPKI is lower than 10 and the memory intensive program where MPKI is higher than 10. From the graph, we can see that the interpreter Docker image such as Ruby, Golang, and Python have a very low MPKI, less than one on average, and they can be categorized into the computation intensive program. The other Docker image, such as MySQL, Traffic, and Ubuntu, despite having higher MPKI than the interpreter program, but they are still categorized as the computational intensive program due to having an MPKI less than 10. On the contrary, the web server Docker images such as Apache, Nginx, and Tomcat have much higher MPKI than 10 and thus categorized as the memory intensive program. This case study is used to demonstrate that KLEP can monitor and collect the performance counter data on a running program without interruption as it does not require to interrupt or restart the workflow 
to start monitoring and correcting the data. We did another round of this case study on the AWS machine. We found that the number of cache events can be vary for each processor due to the different hardware configuration and the cache structure of the processor. But the program is still following the same trend in terms of the MPKI from low to high. For example, the interpreter program still maintain a very low MPKI on average. And the web server program still have a very high MPKI on average. In this case study, we use Meltdown Attack as a case study for hardware event-based anomaly detection using Keller. Meltdown is a cache side channel attack that allows the attacker to read the value from the normally would be inaccessible memory location. Since the meltdown attack mostly revolves around cache exploitation, we set up Caleb to monitor the cache event such as cache reference and cache miss to calculate the cache miss to cache reference ratio. For this case study, we run a secret string printing program. For a malicious case, we print the string using meltdown attack to extract and print out the string directly from the memories. As for the midi case, we print the string normally without using the meltdown attack. Since this program has a very short execution time less than 10 milliseconds, we use the high frequency timer of 100 microseconds to collect the performance counter data during the program execution to detect the period of the attack from the meltdown. In the graph, we can see an abnormally high cache miss to cache reference ratio to almost one to one ratio during the point of attack. This is due to the flash and reload side channel attack the meltdown has to rapidly perform to determine the memory location for printing out the string. Also, even though the number of cache events can be different on the different processor, we are still able to detect and identify the period of attack from both of our testing machines using the cache miss to cache reference ratio. This case study demonstrates the importance of the high frequency data collection period of Caleb. This is very important since the tool like Perf can only provide the timer up to 10 milliseconds and it cannot generate the multiple data points for this case study and thus cannot identify the period of the attack clearly unlike Caleb. We perform the performance overhead study for Caleb and compare it with the other timer based profiling tool using the same sample rate. We also compare it with the other non timer based profiling tool which set up to collect the same or comparable amount number of samples when compared to Caleb. From the table, we can see that Caleb has a very low overhead of 0.68% at 10 milliseconds sample rate in comparison with other filing tools. And consistently, Caleb still show to have the lowest overhead in the other sample rate as well. This is due to Caleb mitigate a lot of overhead effectively by collecting and keeping the performance counter data in the kernel space. This method reduces the expensive overhead from the extra system call the other profiling tool has to make in order to collect the performance counter data, which introduces a lot of overhead to these tools. This graph shows the normalized execution time of the program from all profiling tools. From the graph, we can see that Caleb consistently have less execution time than the other profiling tool and also has less spread in the execution time, which indicate the non-intrusiveness of the tools. The table shows percentage different in hardware event count of Caleb in comparison with the other providing tools. We mainly choose the architectural event, such as branch 
load and store for the comparison. As these hardware events are more stable and deterministic than the microarchitectural events such as the clock cycle. This is due to that the microarchitectural events have a dependency on the context and the state of the hardware. Due to the independent characteristic of the architectural event, the hardware event count are also consistent across the different processor we use for the case study. When compared with the similar timer base to such as per stat, KLAB show negligible difference less than 0.0008% in hardware event count on the deterministic event. While for the perf record, which use the sampling method, which is a non precise counting to collect its hardware event count, it still has close approximate hardware event count with less than 0.15% difference on the deterministic event when compared to KLAB. And for the puppy, which use the instrumentation method to collect its performance counter data, it show more different in hardware event count to KLAB than perf tools, but it still show less than 0.24% different on the deterministic event. So for the conclusion, in this work we introduced KLAB, a kernel module based approach for performance counter collection that have the following features. The first feature is being non-intrusive to the program being monitored. As it does not require the source code modification or having to interrupt the program workflow to be monitored. It can also provide a high frequency sampling rate up to 100 microsecond, which is 100 times faster than the current available tools. It also have a very low and negligible overhead when compared to the other providing tools, which would be a very beneficial to the online and live analysis application. With this new approach, it allows the user to better measure performance and characteristic of the program. As a result, many other subject areas that benefit from using the performance counter data, such as program analysis, malware detection, and scheduling technique could advance as well.